This is Anastasia Barnes with Hi Pro Video. Recently, I sat down with Bill Wynn, Executive Vice President of Planning and Development for Plymouth Rock Studios, a film and television studio complex in Plymouth, Massachusetts, slated to open in 2010. Well, there's a couple of reasons. Obviously, uh, the state tax incentives are very important, uh, are a big driver for the growth in the industry in the state. That New England has all the geographic characteristics that you would want in the way of uh, sea coast and mountains and forests. Plymouth being one of the first, of course, settlements in the country and the one that was the most sustainable and the one that lasted yeah. uh, provided a an opportunity to really uh, leverage the brand of Plymouth and uh, bring, I think, a whole new industry to this part of the world. And so Plymouth, we felt originally was, uh, you know, why would we come here? But as it turns out, it's equidistant between uh, Logan and the airport in Providence. Right. And it has a great uh, lifestyle here as far as being outdoor and close to the Cape, close mm -hmm. to the islands. Mm -hmm and a um, great place to bring a family up yeah. and very reasonable housing. Um, we see the studio as, we call it a studio as a city. Right. In other words, this project has all the aspects of, let's say, a master plan community. Um, I was involved in a large project in Southern California that uh, you know, our goal was we had 5,000 acres and our goal was to <clears throat> excuse me, create a situation where people could live, work, and play all in the same area, and so they wouldn't have to get in their car and drive a long distance. They could ride their bike. This project basically has all those same characteristics, only on a smaller site, with 240 acres and 2 million square feet of uh, space. We've got the place for to work. Right. We've got the place to stay in the way of the hotel and the residences. So it provides us that chance to really create a development where all the important things that we do are linked together yeah. and done in a way that's responsible to the environment and yet state-of-the-art and fun as far as the technology and the storytelling that go on there. We actually are right in the middle of a a uh, large study that one of our consulting groups that came in through Gensler, um, a group called Arup, which yeah. is based in uh, London, is working on um, our green and sustainable strategy and the story that we'll be able to tell. So we're focused on all areas of green and sustainable technology and hope to go certainly to, to Leeds Platinum level. And our goal is, is to focus on all those areas, efficient buildings, efficient control systems, and efficient energy creation and recycling uh, with the site. So, um, and we hope to have eventually a, a zero carbon footprint wow. location. So that's where we're headed. Portions of it will be phased. It won't uh, all be phased because there are certain things like the infrastructure that we have to do all up front. Right. But we will have the ability to build additional square footage after the initial build. The initial build is about 750,000 square feet. Okay. Um, and that doesn't include any of the retail or the hotel facility. That's just at the studio and the office. We're doing a couple of things there. Um, the schools have um, vocational programs uh, as a part especially of the high school where um, they have essentially all the trades that would be used in uh, operating the studio they've got um, we'll have you know a requirement for carpenters and you know sheet metal workers and electricians and um, all the different people that would be educated in a vo sure. vocational setting so we're gonna do uh, OJT solutions for all those different trades in conjunction with the school. You know, we'll interface directly with the schools with respect to classes. Um, Earl has designs of wanting to do culinary arts and hotel restaurant management and wow. so on so that it can be a real collaborative with the schools being right there next door. Um, we also, of course, have a relationship with MIT Right. Uh, the MIT Media Lab, and so there'll be uh, resident interns and the like from the Media Lab that will be involved, and 
one of our primary investors, Sea Change Investments, is also heavily uh, represented by MIT and a lot of the technology, uh, digital media entities that are located in New England. So it's going to be a great place for an incubator of new ideas and, and education. Well, there's a, uh, a couple of things that have happened in the financial markets. One is it used to be the hardest thing to get your equity. Uh, and once you had your equity, you go get the secured money and, and your construction financing. It's pretty much flipped around right now. Um, the equity, while it's not easy to find, it's out there, especially for a project as compelling as ours with as many green and sustainable and sort of state-of-the-art edges that it has to it. So we are in a great position with respect to the equity. and We're now working on how we can phase the project and how we can demonstrate pre-leasing, of which has been very, very strong. The studio as a city probably has a hundred plus profit centers as a part of it. So, um, you know, many of those profit centers the studio won't necessarily do. I think we're going to end up probably in 30 or 40 different businesses and then many of those will be uh, tenants in the studio itself. So. Um, overall job creation, uh, we've pegged it at between 1,500 and 2,000 during construction. Um, hopefully 2,000 or so while the movies are being in production and, and being shot while the studio is open. And the ripple effect of that, in other words, the uh, impact of having a $170, $160 million payroll right. into the local economy, you know, is significant. We figure another three or 4,000 jobs from that. No, I think um, one of the things that, that has happened out of the Gensler era relationship is that, you know, we're working on and, and actually also as a, in combination with our investment partner, Sea uh, Change, we're working on a lot of state of the art technology with respect to green and sustainable designs and solutions mm -hmm. uh, in an effort to try to create a, a, a new height of the bar, if you will, for uh, sustainable and green design and energy management uh, in this sort of climate. Sure. And um, using the sound stages and the studio operations is sort of the guinea pig. Right. You know, we just think that the stickiness of celebrity and the ability to, to combine that with the green technology and the location here in Plymouth uh, and creating the first sustainable community, first sustainable movie studio in America's first sustainable colony location, you know, is really a, uh, an exciting challenge and we look forward to the story that we can tell out, out of all this hard work. <laughs>